And um, in this discussion, chapter 5, we will open um, probability distributions and uh, sample data modeling using Google Sheets. Okay. This can also be done in Excel. Um, however, we have to consider the availability of tools for everyone. So we will be doing this in uh, Google Sheets. Okay. So first, let's uh, try to understand the concepts of probability. Uh, probability. So probability is the likelihood of an outcome occurring. Uh, and then probabilities are expressed between values 0 and 1. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with this, um, given that you've already taken up statistics and are already, uh, some of you are already engaged in research. Okay. Um, there's also the, um, the term experiment, which pertains to the process that results in an outcome. And then the outcome of an experiment is a result that we observe. And then finally, the sample space is the collection of all the possible outcomes in an experiment. So most of the time when we are uh, discussing probability, uh, one of the best examples to use is um, the dice. Okay, the dice um, example. Um, when you roll uh, two dice, there are actually, uh, only 36 possibilities which you can see on my slide um, if you are to ask someone um, how many times do we expect to get 12 probably he would say 6 or you would ask them how many times can we get um, snake eyes meaning two ones uh, and then he or she might say 6 times Okay, so six times out of 36 rolls or one six of the time, that's what we accept, uh, expect. However, and I would like to underscore it, this is not guaranteed. This may or may not happen. Um, in the same manner, if we will explain this uh, in terms of business, suppose we have uh, two customers who will try out our new product. Uh, we can only expect four outcomes. Okay. First one would be um, both of the customers liking it. Second would be the first one, first customer liking, second disliking. Third, vice versa, the first customer dislikes and then the second likes. And then fourth is uh, the worst, which is both of the customers disliking. So what this means is that the probability of one customer disliking the product is uh, three-fourths or 75%. We can actually uh, demonstrate this using um, a random uh, dice rolling um, app if you don't have uh, um, a, the actual dice, okay? So we can roll it as many times as we want and uh, the assurance of getting the outcome we want is uh, not guaranteed, okay? We can expect that, but it's not, it's not guaranteed. So, there. Now, what we will do is we will uh, build a sample normal distribution in um, Google Sheets with the following formulas, ran between standard deviation and normal distribution. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of a probability distribution done in Google Sheets. So here, since we have used the example of dice earlier, um, I have outlined several columns of uh, possible um, possible rolls, okay, or results of rolling the dice. So uh, for this, what you can see here, um, there's a formula which is rand between. So what is rand between? Uh, let me try to redo it. Equals rand between. So when you say rand between, it is a random integer between two values that are inclusive. So after rand between, open parenthesis, and then you would just um, put in the, num the numbers which constitutes the lowest and the highest amount. 
So lowest would be 1 in 8 dice. So that's the first value. Comma, separator. And then 6 as the highest. And then close the formula. And then doing so, uh, it gives me a random number. It gave me number 6. Now to show you that uh, these are indeed um, random, anytime I make a change in the sheet, let's say I put in one here, if you would notice, everything changed, okay? Let me put two, right? So any changes um, you make in the sheet at uh, is tantamount to rolling the dice okay so that's for rand between and then here um on column g i have placed total which is just sum summing the entire um row of dice rolls and then copied it all throughout g21 which is the last um row and then below that we have the average so of course you're just going to use average you average the entire roll results and then for standard deviation here is your formula st dev g2 to g21 so just to show you what st dev means calculates the standard deviation based on a sample so st dev open parenthesis and then your range and then close parenthesis so why do we have that um the standard deviation is necessary in order for you to compute for the normal distribution so here at the bottom you can see that we have two um scenarios okay we wanted to know whether uh, what is our chance of getting an average of 28 or higher and another is what is our chance of getting 25 um, in average uh, of um, 20 rolls okay in order for us to do that all we have to do is just write in the formula norm this norm uh this norm this is for the normal distribution function so as you can see um this function is already an available formula in google sheet okay so open parenthesis first it asks you x or what is the number uh that we are trying to uh determine the input to the normal distribution function in this case we are trying to determine 28 or higher so you are going to put in 28 as our um, x value okay and then comma separator we are asked to get the mean so mean is the average so all you have to do is just click this the average result comma and then next we are asked for the standard deviation so standard deviation, we have already um, taken this from a, uh, a separate cell with the formula of standard deviation. So I'm just going to highlight it. And then finally, um, it asks you whether it is cumulative or not cumulative. Whether we should use the normal cumulative distribution rather than the distribution function. So in this case, we are going to use cumulative. Why? Because our uh, our uh, premise is that the we are trying to get the chance for 28 or higher. So it is cumulative. Therefore, I'm going to put in true. Okay. And then close the formula. So with this... Um, if, uh, let's say these are all the, the results of your, you throwing the dice, or six dice, and then it was tallied in a table. So it says right here that with all the results you have, your chance okay, of getting 28 or higher was 0.97%. Okay? So that's uh, low, to be quite honest. But it's okay. Um... 
we are just trying to uh, show an example of a probability distribution conducted in a Google Sheet. Now, the second um, thing we are trying to determine is what's the chance of rolling a 25? Now, this one is d definitive. Okay, um, We are going to do the same formula and the only thing that's going to change here is uh, the cumulative function. So, norm this 25 comma and then you have the average standard deviation and then when you are asked now for cumulative you're just going to put in false okay so the chance of rolling 25 with these results is 0 0.05 okay so that's very simple to be quite honest and you can apply the same pattern for any probability distribution table all right so i'm going to give you an assignment uh and you would have to create uh, the same probability distribution table putting in the formula strand between um, standard deviation and norm distribution, uh, normal distribution. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you on the next video. Hello, this is Jason Santos and for today we will continue the discussion of business analytics. Chapter 5, Probability Distribution and Data Modeling. So let's get started.